I feel like this is cool artistic lighting, but you probably can't see me very good, so I'll stop joking around. Today is going to be a mega super huge beauty hurl from Sephora and from Ulta. Oh, I should have like dramatically lifted the bag as I was saying each location. Let's try that again. Okay. Today is going to be a super mega hole hurl. <sighs> from Sephora and from Ulta. Why don't we just jump right in because I feel like I've got a lot going on here. I actually bought all this stuff before I went to BeautyCon, so I had been using it a little bit because I always think it's helpful to do like a little bit of a hurl with a little bit of a review. So some of these things I have tried already and I can give you some kind of opinion on them. So let's start with Ulta because I feel like I got fewer things there and the first thing I just want to tell you guys to stay away from especially if you have precious little sensitive skin such as yours truly. I used these last night. I don't know why. I just kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit and maybe like add something to my Murad routine. So I got these Body Shop Tea Tree Cleansing Wipes, which say that they're suitable for blemished skin, which clearly is me. So I thought that these would be quite helpful. I swear I've purchased these before, but I wiped this all over my face last night and had a moderate pan attack because it turned my face beat horribly red. I actually filmed a little clip. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see or not the full disturbing extent of it. For about two, three hours, my face was like really red and looked like it had a chemical burn. The Body Shop makes some great stuff, but if you have sensitive skin, I would say don't use these if you love your face. Next thing that I got, I'm planning on doing like a first impression Friday of them. I have been requested to do so, so that's what I'm planning on doing. That is for the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. I feel like I've had a color of these a long, long time ago, but now that I've learned that like mattify any lipstick trick that I did a Pinterest test for many months ago, I kind of want to try them again because these are not matte, but they have some really intense, awesome colors. So I'm going to kind of see if I can mattify them. Stay tuned. Planning on doing a video about that. I got the new Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And I believe that this is like bare faced, bare faced. That's not a brand. I think this is like their new foundation type product. And we did a first impression of one of their other foundations a long time ago, but it's this stuff that comes in a little tube. And I got the lightest shade, which is opal. It's pretty light. You may not even be able to tell what's going on here, but there it is. I also got the Too Faced Instant Attitude Brow Bone Highlighting Pencil, and it's a little crayon, and it's just supposed to uh, be one of those things that gives your eyebrows instant pizzazz. There it is, right there. You may be noticing, as I have no makeup on today, that my eyelash extensions are gone. I gotta do a video about that. So it's back to false eyelashes that I just glue on one at a time for me. So I got this new set that I saw from Eyelore, which I thought were quite lovely. And this is one of my favorite faux eyelash brands. And I think that these were on sale too. And these are like somewhere in the middle of really dramatic and really practical in my mind. So this is called Definition. I also got this new product, which totally intrigues me from NYX. And I've been looking everywhere for the new NYX products. And I don't know if like my Ulta and my Target and everything just has not gotten them in yet, or if they're all continually sold out. So this was the only product that I've been seeing on Instagram that I really wanted to try that I could find. And it's called the Honey Dew. It's like a collagen skin smoothing radiant type serum. It's got golden flakes in it. It's definitely not sticky. They had a tester. So even though it's got the name honey in it, I was like, oh my God, is this sticky? Like rubbing honey all over your face? No, it's not. So that's good news. So that is all that I got from Ulta. Sippy sippy. All right, moving on to Sephora. And there's two bags of that. So 
let's get going. The very first thing that I got is a lip pencil from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. And I know I'm not fond of that name. I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings by saying that. That's just what it's called. I've done a review of the OCC Lip Tars before. I was not that impressed, but I've been seeing this lip liner pencil everywhere. So I had to get it, had to try it. And I'm wanting to call it Pennywise, but I'm pretty sure that's the evil clown from Stephen King's It. It's called Penny Royal, in fact, not Pennywise. I guess it is supposed to be like a coppery kind of color because, you know, it's kind of like the color of pennies. But I thought I could layer this underneath a lot of lipsticks for a pretty cool coloring effect. Like maybe some lighter colored lipsticks and this would just be like, wow, I don't know. Very excited to try it. The next thing that I got is from Smashbox and it is their Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. It's just supposed to help with dark circles, puffiness. I've been having a lot of allergies lately so I feel like my eyes are like bleh, like just disgusting. So very much looking forward to trying this. It's just one of these like, you know, tube kind of things and you just smear it on under your eye and dab it in. It looks great. I'm hoping it's gonna look great. Wish me luck. Paper, 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 oh, paper. Uh, next thing I got, I have used before and then I stuck it back in the box. So it would be perfect for this hurl video. It is the Stila Mind palette and it was so hard to pick which one of these palettes I wanted. I think there were like four or five of them. They're kind of pricey. I wanted them all, but I ended up going with this one because I think it had the most orangish, kind of reddish colors inside of it. And those are some of my favorite eyeshadow colors to wear lately. It's like a gold, shiny kind of palette. And you open it up and there's eyeshadow inside. Imagine that. I'm loving it. You got a nice mixture here of like light colors, dark colors. Next, I got a Kat Von D liquid lipstick. I love her studded kiss lipsticks. And my friend Sydney said that these are absolutely amazing. So I got the orange one and a long, long time ago, you may remember if you've been here for a while, I used to love wearing an orange lip and then I stopped doing it. I don't know why. So I thought I would get the orange shade, surprise, surprise, which is a go-go. It's just a really vibrant neon orange. I got a new powder foundation. I go for powdered foundations like a rabid animal. If I see one and it's new and I haven't tried it, I'm gonna try it because I love powdered foundations more than any other foundation in the world. This is the new Naked Skin from Urban Decay. I tried it once and I got Fair, which is the fairest shade. I love it, but I kind of feel like this is almost more like a powder than a powder foundation. The coverage is just not as there for me as some other powder foundations. If you like a light to medium coverage foundation, then this is for you. I'm totally not knocking it. I love it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna use it. I like it. It comes in this really nice little purple bag. You get a little applicator sponge, which I don't use. Do people really use these? I don't know. This just seems like a really impossible, impractical way to apply foundation, a powder foundation to my face. Maybe that's just me. I prefer doing everything with a brush. So here is the foundation. As you can see, it's like ghostly white. Can you see? I think that this is a light to medium coverage. I could be wrong though. Maybe it's supposed to be heavy coverage. Her heavy coverage. I've talked about these things before and it's another thing that I'm rabidly obsessed with and I feel like I go through them pretty fast. I'm probably using them more than I should. They are powdered face cleansers, powdered face exfoliants. This one I got, I've heard a lot about it and my friend who works at Sephora highly recommended this to me. She even said that this is one that I could use daily because it's not as coarse. And I'm sure I'm gonna mispronounce this name of this brand, but it's Tatcha. It is a polished classic rice enzyme powder. And I've used this about three or four times already. It comes in like this fantastical little packaging. I love it. You pour it out of this little spout up here. It's almost like a little salt shaker or something. Next, I got two eyeshadow palettes from Hourglass. Let me try and get them out of their boxes. 
Wake up, sleepyhead. Um, okay, so I got color field, and when you see this one, you can guess why I had to have it. Yes, it looks like camo. This is like a camo colored eyeshadow palette. So you get five different shades in here. This one in the corner is shimmery. I think some of them are pearlescent, and I think this one over here, the lightest one, is matte. And I've been dying to use these, but I didn't want to yet because I didn't want to like perhaps smear the colors and ruin this visual experience for you guys. And then the other one I got is Exposure, which is the one of all kind of purpley mauve kind of colors. And you guys know I love purples, reds, oranges, neutrals, camo colors. I pretty much love all colors of eyeshadow actually. Next. I got a lipstick, and I believe that this is actually from the Christmas collection. This was still sitting out as a display, and I thought they didn't have any, but it turns out they had one, like, hiding in the bin. I just hit myself in the face. This is called Beige Gold Shimmer, and it's from Bobbi Brown. When I swatched it in the store, it was just amazing looking. I loved it. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it on my mouth now. And I'm honestly not sure how I feel about this on my face. It's a little bit glossy looking. I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't look as good on my face as it looked on my hand, which is kind of disappointing. I'm gonna go ahead and rub this off. The next thing that I got is another skincare kind of item. I am pretty obsessed with skincare. And this is by Dr. Jart. And it is the Pore Medic Pore Minish Mist. And I've been having like some gigantic looking pore stuff going on on this side of my face lately. So I decided I wanted to give this a try. Sprayed it on my hand with a little sample one in the store. It felt delightful, very refreshing. I also love simply packaged products like this. You know what I mean? This just looks so classique. And the last product that I got before my camera totally overheats and shuts off is the Kat Von D Locket Featherweight Primer Base. So basically it is just a foundation base. I've seen a lot about this. I've heard a lot about this. The packaging, as always, is gorgeous. I'm a packaging sucker. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying this on my face and not just my hand. I feel like it's been a long time since I've done any kind of like makeup the Ulta Sephora kind of hurls. Thank you guys so, so much for being here today and for spending some time with me. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can find me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl. Same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!